Star One Hosh. There is something for everyone. MTN, everywhere you go. Nine minutes to ten o'clock. My name is Sarah Rimshaw. The news on Galaxy FM Opposition Forum for Democratic Change, FDC, have ostensibly uh, considered defeat moments into uh, after losing the Kamala Municipality Member of Parliament seat. If this is candidate Salam Musumba said, but seemingly sarcastically, that she had experienced a free and fair election. The Electoral Commission Chairman Justice uh, Simon Biawakama declared NRM's Hajat Watongola winner polling 8,726 votes against Salam Musumba's 5,778 votes. Musumba sounding dejected vowed not to challenge the election results in court, stressing that the people of Kamuli had made their choice. Meanwhile, election observers have commended the new Electoral Commission team for conducting what they called a relatively peaceful by-election in Kamali Municipality. Rehema Watongola reclaimed her Kamali Municipality uh, parliamentary seat after beating four other candidates, including the FTC flag bearer Proskovia Salam Musumba. John Mary Odoi, one of the observers, said that the new EC team has delivered what it promised when appointed. He noted that the voting materials arrived at polling stations on time and voting also ended on time. I think the new team of the electoral commission is uh, very organized. They sound and fact they have mentioned it many times. They want to see clean elections being delivered whenever they are organizing them. And the level of transparency, the way we see, the way they are doing their things, I think is quite, quite high. Chris Baker, hero of the Citizens Coalition for Electoral Democracy of Uganda, said the coordinator says that save for the few cases of violence, the EC did a commendable job. Still, I think it is important for this country to institute campaign financing laws that are actually going to completely deter the use of money to manipulate voting processes, especially on the side of the candidates and the voters, because that has been very prevalent in previous elections, and uh, we are also beginning to see flickers of those. Although today we are talking about allegations, there is no smoke without fire. Dr. Louis Kasekende, the Deputy Governor Bank of Uganda, has asked journalists to jealously guard their intellectual freedom if they are to keep contributing to the country's economic development. Now, speaking at the Uganda National Journalism Awards Gala, organized by the African Center for Media Excellence at Gulf Coast Hotel Kampala last evening, Dr. Kasekende noted that the media has been one of the most successful subsectors of Uganda's economy in the last two decades. Journalists must jealous guard their integrity and intellectual independence so as not to act according to the winds or biased persuasions of self-interest groups or individuals which will be to the detriment of the public good, institutions and the economy as a whole. Initial. Initiatives like Media Awards, Dr. Kasekende urged, will spur journalism to greater levels. He said journalists should also provide good analysis of relevant issues, adding that reporters should always endeavor to answer the why question by going beyond writing facts. Well informed economic analysis in the media has a vital contribution to make public debate in Uganda. It is essential that statements about the economy and the public policy proposal receive critical scrutiny in the media by those with the expertise. In health, the Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Dr. Diana Twine has urged health facilities not to turn yellow fever vac vaccination into a business venture. Atwine said this Wednesday during a ceremony to sign a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Health and a number of health facilities that have been deemed fit to administer yellow fever vaccines in the country. A total of 22 health facilities from Kampala, Tororo, Kabare and Entebbe have been given the green light to administer the vaccine by the Ministry. Twelve of the facilities were able to sign the MOU on Wednesday. These include KCC Clinic, Mango Hospital, Nakasura Hospital, St. Catherine Hospital, Novik Hospital, Chitant Medical Care, among others. Atwine says that government was forced to carry out the activities of assessing health centers due to high numbers of irregularities that surrounded yellow fever vaccination and the issuance of certificates. 
This venture should not be a money-making venture. We have entrusted you that you are going to work on our behalf. But don't make it a money-making venture. You buy a vaccine at 30000 and you sell it at 150000 This is not right. We have heard in the past where people have been, you know, forging these certificates in order to, to, to meet the need of the, their clients, especially when they are going to travel. Jackson Amani, the Assistant Commissioner for Integrated Curative Services, said the new certificates will have a new security measure unlike the old ones. Each facility will identify one specimen signature. From KCCA, you have seen only one signature. Not that the nurse on duty will sign. It's not allowed. And we shall circulate those specimen signatures to all the embassies and at the airport. And you'll have to get a small stamp which shows KCCA center. And it should fit in that position. And that is what is going to be recognized. Also in the world, U.S. President Donald Trump has said NATO is no longer obsolete, obsolete uh, reversing a stance that had alarmed allies. Now hosting NATO Secretary General Jens at the White House, Mr. Trump said the threat of terrorism had underlined the alliance's importance. He called on NATO to do more to help Iraqi and Afghan partners. Mr. Trump has repeatedly questioned NATO's purpose while complaining that the U.S. pays an unfair share of membership. The NATO U-turn wasn't Mr. Trump's only change of heart on Wednesday. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, he said he would not label China a currency manipulator, despite having repeatedly pledged to do so on his first day in office. A very good morning. That's all we had for you.